Hi, this is lead code question. Ways to express an integer as uh, sum of powers. This is the last question of bi weekly contest number 109. Now, in this example, n equal uh, 6, x equal 1, and the answer is 4. We will use dynamic programming to solve this question, and to do that, we create a table of size n plus 1 with uh, values set to 0 so n equal 6 this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and initially the values are 0 so at every index, uh, we'll find the solution for the number of ways to um, express uh, an integer at each index. So what is the number of ways to express for 6 and for n equal 5, for 3, for 2, for 1. And at the end, we return tb of n, which is tb of uh, 6. And to do that, uh, we need to find the number of ways using number 1 only, then number 1 and 2, and then 1 and 2 and 3, then 1 and 3 and 4, and 5 and 6. So let's start with number 1, i equal 1. Now b equal 1 to the power uh, x which equal 1 now we iterate over all the numbers from 6 up to 1 and for every value we check if the value contains uh, if the value is not 0 so uh, the idea is if the value is not 0 let's say here we have some value at 3 let's call it uh, y so we know 3 plus this value 1 equal 4 so we go from 3 to 4 so all the results at 3 we add it to uh, the value or the result at 4 so let's say here we have some number 5 at the end 5 plus this value y will be uh, the result at 4 now let's return back to uh, this for loop so we iterate over all the values from 6 to uh, 1 and the value should be uh, uh, equal to a value greater than uh, 0 so this is 0 this is 0 0 0 0 0 so at the first uh, for i equal 1 all of them are 0 and here we add tb of uh, p plus equal 1 so tb of 1 we add 1 and we are done with i equal 1 so what does that mean here the value 1 that means for n equal 1 there is one way to form n equal 1 using this value 1 and that's true because 1 to the power 1 equal 1 and this is the only way now let's add another value i equal 2 now we need to find the number of ways using these two numbers we already calculated for number one now let's see for two so it's at six or before that p equal two which is i to the power x is two now the value at six is zero we skip it five zero four zero three zero two zero now one it has a value so this condition apply now we have this value j1 plus p2 equal to 3 3 is less than uh, n of this condition 
that mean we need to update the value at 3 here we need to add the value at 1 to the value at 3 so 1 plus 0 is 1 and we are done with this for loop now tp of p of 2 plus equal 1 and that's it for i equal uh, 2 so this is the uh, results for the number of ways using these two number 1 and 2 for example for n equal 3 there is one way using these two numbers only and that's true because this one way is 1 plus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 1 and this is the only way to form 3 using these two numbers now let's add another number which is 3 p equal 3 to the power 1 is equal 3 now 6 is 0 5 is 0 4 is 0 3 is not 0 3 plus what is the uh, p value is 3 equal 6 so we need to update the value at 6 with the value at 3 the value of 3 is 1 so this one come 1 then 2 this is j j equal 2 <coughs> is not uh, 0 2 plus 3 equal 5 so we need to update the value at 5 with the value 2 so 0 plus 1 is 1 then we move j uh, j is 1 and the value is not 0 so 1 plus 3 equal 4 so 4 plus the value at 1 is 1 then we are done with for loop tb of p plus equal 1 tb of 3 we add 1 so tb of 3 is 2 so after this iteration i equal uh, 3 the table values are uh, 0 here we have 1 here we have 1 and this is 2 1 1 1 so if we take for example uh, n equal 3 how many ways using these three numbers we can form the number 3 the answer is 2 and that's true because you can form 3 using 1 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 1 or using 3 to the power uh, 1 so there are two ways let's continue with i equal 4 p equal 4 to the power 1 and this is 4 now 6 plus 4 is 10 this is greater than n 5 plus 4 is 9 this is greater than n 4 plus 4 is 8 this is greater than n then j equal uh, 3 3 plus 4 7 this is greater than n then 2 2 plus 4 is 6 6 is equal to n so what is the value at uh, 2 it's 1 we need to update the value at 6 we, we need to add uh, 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 then j is at this index 1 1 plus uh, 4 is 5 so at 5 we need to add the value at 1 1 plus 1 is 2 then tb of 
4 we add 1 so this is 2 so after i equal uh, 4 the table has these values Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is two. Then five is two. Four is two. Three is two. Two is one. One, zero. <coughs> now let's solve for i equal five. Now j equal six, six plus five, so p equal uh, five to the power one equal five. Five plus six is eleven, greater than n. Five plus uh, five is ten, then j equal four. Four plus five is nine, greater than six. Three plus five, greater than six. Two plus five, greater than six. 1 plus 5 equals 6. Now we need to update the value at 6. So 1 plus 5 equals 6. The value at 6 we need to update it with the value of at 1. The value at 1 is 1. So we add 1 to this. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now we are done with uh, I equal 5 we need to calculate for or just one more thing here TB of 5 plus equal 1 so TB of 5 we add 1 now we are done with 5 let's go to value 6 P equal 6 to the power 1 equal uh, 6. Now again, J is here. 6 plus 6 is greater than N. Also 5, also 4, also 3, also 2. Also 1 plus 6 is greater than uh, 6. So for I equal 6, we don't do anything other than this. TB of 6 plus equal 1. So 3 plus 1 is and we are done with uh, this loop now at the end we return the value at tb of n so tb of 6 is uh, 4 and that will be uh, the final answer that means there are 4 ways to um, to form the value 6 using these uh, six numbers and that's true because one of the way is six to the power one this equal six or for example if we take four to the power one plus two to the power one this is six or uh, one plus two plus 3 is equal 6 or well, we can take uh, 1 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 1 equal 6 so there are 4 ways to express the number 6